Now it's recording. It wasn't even <laughs> recording. Oh my god. Nope. Is it saying a time? Like it's recording? Yeah. Okay. Because if we film this and it's not happening. recording. Everything is what, happening. What is it where they say it's all happening? Oh, Sheena's tattoo. It's all it's happening. It's all happening. Can you like Photoshop? Did my hair look good? Wait I have second. no idea. No, we should have thought of talking points. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandon Lord. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm joined by Gia. I thought that for a second you weren't going to introduce me. I was getting ready to be really pissed. <laughs> Like, hey guys, welcome to my video. What? Anyways, this video is going to be about this. So this is one of my Thursday rant videos, and I usually do these alone, but today's topic is why moving sucks. And I figured it'd be perfect that I'd be joined with one of my best friends, Gia, because she recently moved as well and feels my pain. I just got rid of boxes, and I've been living here for six months. It's clean. I would pan over, but it took 30 minutes to get this camera angle, and it's already not that great, so I'm not going to risk it again. <laughs> So yeah, what is one reason why you think moving sucks? Moving sucks because you uplift your entire life into boxes and then it takes you six months to unload that entire life from your boxes. Moving is just an awful process in general because you never realize how much shit you have until you're forced to like pack it up into boxes. Mm -hmm. And then you contemplate even keeping it because it's almost not worth it. It's not. You don't need your kindergarten report cards. With my apartment, I was on the fourth floor furthest from the elevator. I was not involved in that one. Yeah, you went mm -hmm. out to eat with your family instead of helping me. Listen, yeah. we run on food. I think people run on food. You don't understand, though. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. You, my don't, pain. you don't get it. <laughs> Flips the table. Are you prostitution <laughs> whore? Are you prostitution whore? Ugh. Prostitution whore? Moving just sucks, and then there's just so much caring, and then you have to like bribe your friends to help you by ordering them like half a pizza. Your family doesn't care and doesn't want to help you. I didn't know that you. half a pizza was involved, if I had known. You would have made an exception to help me if food was involved. Yes, I don't know why you're shocked. Our friendship wasn't enough. I, I have to be no, she has only filled me in this video because I'm paying for her food. <laughs> I actually, let's make this disclaimer. I don't feel cheap at all. And freeloaders usually don't. Mm -hmm. That being said. Back to moving. It shows how much out of shape you are. Mm. You have to carry all stairs. that shit and you have to move it up the stairs lots or even and lots of stairs. And always, get on an elevator. At least one piece of furniture gets scratched. At least. My dresser got scratched Mine when too. I moved in. When you move in and you move everything in, you have to unpack everything that you just spent days hacking. And then you have to decide where it goes. And for some reason, you think you're on fucking camera watch 24 seven and people actually give a shit where you place the coffee table. So you overthink it as if you're gonna audition for an HGTV show alongside Joanna, whatever the fuck from Joanna Fixer Hayes. Upper. Get it right. Did you know that you don't get to keep the stuff and you have to like pay for it? Oh my it? God. Uh, Mix mom told me that. I think he, he you yes. might have told me that actually. actually I did tell I'm you that. I'm in shock. I wonder if it's clear. Your source. We, we are off we topic. What's another reason why moving <laughs> sucks? Um, you have to start buying new groceries. Mm -hmm. Did you keep your food? Like and move it to another place? There were some when I moved back to my parents, like certain spices mm -hmm. and like almond milk. <laughs> Spices and almond milk. That's all you need, That's really. Basically, the key to life. Okay, they're sending a notification that they're almost here. Hurry up, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. That it's was this. so two years ago. So, was that hairstyle? Oh my god, I'm growing it out, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna <laughs> stop this take. We're gonna get the food and then we're gonna come back and just finish. We're back, guys. So, we ate dinner real quick because we were getting hangry and our Uber Eats delivery guy was here with some barbecue food. And now we're back with coffee. So, we're better than ever. We're thriving. That's salty. What? Another thing, if your car is very small and the price of having to buy a moving truck. And then, like you said, you have to beg your friends with trucks to help you, but sometimes they're busy and then sometimes they're just, 
unavailable. That's true. I have a two-door car, so I can't really carry much. So I have to depend on other people. You're like slowly pushing me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's true. Gia has a big car, but alas, she didn't help me. I honestly don't know what I was doing that day, but it was something good. Another part that sucks about moving is trying to find a casual and non-planned way of meeting your neighbors the day of. Oh, but How to there's casually always this meet awkward people. where like they hear a bunch of moving people and they like open their door. And, and they're like, like, what's going on here? And, and you're like, like, hi, I'm moving in next door. And they're like, in my previous apartment, it was like big, like there was multiple buildings and like there was a lot on my floor alone. I didn't see that many people and the people I did see were like a handful and it would be the same people. I see one neighbor at least once a week when I take out my trash because he's always sitting in his recliner in his wife beater and boxers watching football but his TV faces the sliding door. When I walk down to take the trash out, I walk right in front of it. Hello. <laughs> If you're moving out of your parents' house, you have to buy all the really shitty stuff like knives and forks and a napkin holder and salt and pepper shakers because you don't want to look like you're in like college because you're trying to avoid looking like that. That's so true. It's it like is. the small things you would never think of, like a paper towel holder. Yes. I never knew I would need that, Lots. but then I did. Or like uh, one of those things that you can put all your cooking utensils that you never use because you're too lazy to cook because you never learned how to cook. Or you know how to cook, and again, you're too lazy to cook. Because who wants to cook after a long day at work? Yeah, and then you end up just making the same thing that you kind of know how to make, so like sauteed chicken with like some vegetable that you put in the microwave. I steal toilet paper for my dad every week. My mom, parents would give me like Sam's Club toilet paper. Yeah, because it was like the big he would size. get the big one, so he'd give me a section. If you can get help, use it. Get help. Sarah McLaughlin face in the background. I'm moving. Can't help if you need. We don't have the right to that song. You can sing it. You can? I'm like that America's Got Talent girl. I was like barely moving my mouth. Like imagine a puppet. We Dark, cold hotel room? I couldn't tell because it didn't make any sense. Oh my god, cleaning sucks. Oh, I hate it. There's always noises. There's always creepy creaks in your walls and anytime a door opens, it creaks. Or sometimes your door won't close all the way and then some other door will close and then that one pops open and then you freak out. It's like a magic act. I know. And when you're not here, they have access to your apartment. Did you know that? Oh, like the leaf. Like the master key? Oh. What happens if your maintenance guy's a psycho? I have scissors by my bed. Wow, what are you gonna give him a haircut? No, I'm gonna stab them in the jugular with the scissors. <laughs> that's when you play. That was like, like bird box. You, that's when you play like you're asleep. Didn't she like kill herself and then with you the sense scissors? It and you slowly go and grab it and put it next to you and then <laughs> you just go. <laughs> you pretend to be asleep and then you sense her like this. It's scary. You know what also is difficult is like putting on a party. Oh, like, I always all. stress. Like even when I would oh invite you and everyone else over, I was like, I would stress. It's the word they're like gonna hate my place. Party that we had. Mm -hmm. I stress the entire time. And then when it's the, a mess after and you don't feel like cleaning it and you constantly feel like your apartment's dirty because there's so many people in it and so many things going I'm on. I'm still finding ping pong balls. What else sucks about moving? I feel like we covered everything. Yeah, I feel like we went nowhere with this, but. Maybe everywhere. We went everywhere, but nowhere. <laughs> so I think we covered pretty much everything that sucks about moving. We probably forgot some stuff because there's just endless amounts of things. But I mean, In you conclusion. know, with moving, it teaches you a sense of independence because you have to do a lot of things for yourself that normally you wouldn't have to do for yourself. And it really gives you a sense of self because you're creating a space for yourself. Is that how I'm supposed to feel? Maybe. And I'm you really go to value like what your parents did for you and how easy they actually made your life. That's a thing. Maybe moving isn't that bad. Is this your emotional? You're gonna zoom into your face. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Just kidding, moving's the worst. <laughs> but anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, you know. Do it, just hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to go places and it doesn't help when you have nothing. So with that being said, 
Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time. That sounded so stupid. So stupid. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks guys so much. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. That was so was subpar. I'm so excited that was so funny. You think you have a tough? You, have you a, think that's bad? You have a, you haven't lived how I lived, Brandon. Nothing. Have you Today. ever been cut with a box cutter? It no. hurts. Have you been cut with a box cutter? No. <laughs> <laughs> gonna die. I'm gonna oh, die. Does that look good? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. You done? Was that cute? Yeah. Really? Hey, what's in my coffee? Lincoln Bye. <laughs> he made himself laugh. Anyways. Thanks. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <so> <laughs>